telling you, you will not make it. You need to find out why you are drawn to slander, scandal, and gossip. Busybody channels have hundreds of thousands of followers. People, listen to me. If you are drawn and you are subscribed to a scandal mongering channel, uh -huh. something in uh -huh. you is you need to go to God and I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening. Because uh this is what your channel has always been about. I don't know why you cannot see your own mess. Well, uh, what did you see this video that I'm playing right now? Guess where I got that video from? I got it from her archives. I got this video that you see right now. I got that out of her. I got this video from her archives. And she's got these half naked women shaking their booties. And she thought that that was good content. Yeah, that came from her. And, and what is she talking about over here? you're drawn towards it any person whose channel under the guise or the veneer is a veneer that they are prophets that they are exposed exposing a channel they just want you to know about this person friend i'm telling you that person you have been doing it for years you have been doing it for years. So what are you talking about? You know, I'm going to be doing some more videos calling these so-called leaders out, these so-called people that claim they have the word. I'm going to be calling them out. False teachers. Yeah, she's right in that mix. And I don't care how many moderators you got. I'm calling you out and I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking to it. Now, I don't know who hacked your channel, but I can't say that I'm sorry because I would want you to go ahead and do the right thing and take that mess down. You are misleading the masses. I want you to do it. I didn't rejoice when I found out you're a hacker, uh, uh, somebody hacked your uh, channel. I didn't rejoice. Somebody had already gotten in my comments and, uh, told me that uh, your channel went away, that it's no longer appearing. I didn't know anything about it. But I'll say this much, I wasn't rejoicing because I want you to do the work. Like this right here, you need to take this video down. And you got some more I'm going to be showing. How can you sit up there on your platform after you've been hacked and you just coming right back with the same old mess? Instead of taking accountability for your own actions, you started this mess over seven years ago. You started this mess. Exposing everybody, exposing all the churches, exposing this, exposing that. You started this mess. You were so, uh, you were so much on a rant. You were so determined that you were doing three videos a day. And now you sitting up here because what goes around comes around and now you've been hacked. I don't feel sorry for you at all. When you, every video is the latest scandal. Every video, you got so-called prophets, their entire dirty hands is nothing but scandal. Mm-hmm. Dirty hands all day long. This woman has dirty hands. And uh, I don't care if, uh, I don't, I, you know, you do a lot of clout chasing. You are guilty of that. You are guilty of uh, trying to get views, doing desperate things to get views. Like this video right here. She got almost 6,000 views just for this video. When she needs uh, to get them views up, she'll come up with content like this. But this is on her channel, okay? 
And uh, that's why I decided to play it today because what she's talking about now, it, it just, to me, she just, she does not see the board in her own eyes. But she's always trying to get the speck out of everybody else's eye. I, you know, look, I ain't got time for it. I ain't got time for it. I'm telling you. Because uh, she's, she, she's just one person, self-righteous. Quit telling people what to do. Okay, so I tell you what, you have 120,000 subscribers, which I don't know. I think you bought most of them. I can hardly believe that you, you, a whole thousand uh, people subscribe to your channel. A whole thousand people. When you can barely get that on a daily. I don't care. You know what? This is this is somebody who, this is like the, the, the skillet calling the, the kettle black. Or the black, the, the kettle calling the skillet black, whichever way you want to put it. She doesn't have any room to talk. She's been doing this for years. And now all of a sudden, now somebody, she's getting bit in the butt. And she has a problem with it. But you're the guilty one. You're the one who's got dirty hands. And you need to be worried about how to clean your hands up. How to get the dirt off of your hands. That's what you need to be doing. Self-righteous thing. To gossip. And these people, if it's you, my friend, you will know because you have a depressive life. Not me. Nothing's really going on in your life. You don't have a... I guarantee you I'm not depressed. Okay. I ain't nowhere near depressed. I am one of the happiest people on the planet because I know where I'm going once I leave here. Ministry for Jesus. I have a ministry, ministry for your Jesus. service is to slander and disseminate scandal. I get the feeling that she is really targeting uh, a particular person and it may be me, but I'm not the only one. It could be somebody else. I'm sure it's a, a handful of us out, out here. But... Um, After watching her videos, I have already come to the conclusion that this person is not the type of person that I would want in my circle anyway, because I know we would clash on every hand. And all the friends that the few, she only has a few friends and they are, they pretty much have to be a yes ma'am type of person. They cannot be themselves with this woman. They have to conform because she is a dictator and they have to conform to her way or no way. Now, she's sitting up there accusing the brethren. She doesn't know who hacked her channel, but the first person she's going to blame are the brethren. And if you want to talk about me and my videos and what I have up speaking against your false teachings, honey, you go right ahead. My videos are not going to go anywhere until yours go. When you start taking your videos down, then I'm going to start taking mine down because I don't, I'm not attached to my videos. I can take them video videos down just at the drop of a hat, but I'm going to oppose you as long as you think it's okay to teach these false teachings lies, doctrines of demons. If you think that I'm going to sit back as a believer and let you just do it. No, it, that's not going to happen because there's too many babes out there who don't know their right from their left. And, th and I'm here for them. Okay. Say whatever you want. I'm challenging your word. If you want to get in my comments, come right on, but nobody's going to your email to talk to you about anything because you are very unreasonable. But you get in my comments, we'll have an open forum and we'll have a dialogue and a debate. I don't care. Whatever you want to say, whatever is in your heart, you are welcome to drop your comments. Unlike you who don't give anybody a voice. And when you do have your chat open, you got a hundred moderators. I mean, that's just a little, it's just too much. It's just too much. You know, you, you, you got all these people trying to protect your lies. It's just too much.
You are deceived. You are no, you are hacked. deceived. You, you are hacked. To repent because you will okay. perish. I remind you, brother and sister, the way is so straight and narrow. God. I promise you, honey bun, that I will not perish. Unlike you, because you don't know who you are. And you do not know where you stand in eternity. Because why? Because of that false doctrine that you teach and preach to these people. You don't know where you're going. You have to work every single day. And I don't think you, you, you would know then. But I have eternal security. And if I want to expose anybody, I am permitted to do so. Okay? You want all these channels to go away that's exposing you. Well, the only way my, my channel is going down is uh, somebody hacked me. And if they do, I'll come right back again and start another channel. So I don't care. I don't care. But you, I'm just looked at the nerve of you. You just have a lot of nerve to get up on your platform after you've been hacked. Instead of really taking inventory of why this happened. You know, you coming up in here with all your pride, all of your pride, unwilling to change, unwilling to reason, still pointing the finger at the brethren instead of taking accountability. Maybe there was a reason why you got hacked. Maybe there was a reason. God is not going to let a scandal monger in heaven. How do you know? We need to. If they're saved, he will. And anyway, by the way, that's your made up name, scandal monger. Well, she, that's, I think that's better than what she's been calling the body of Christ, uh, whoremongers and all them other names. Her attack is on the body of Christ, hands down. Because for her to automatically assume that this was an inside job, that the, somebody from the body of Christ did this, that tells you. She, she, it could have been a worldly person, but she, she don't care about that. No, uh, you know, she, she would probably give a worldly person a pass better, more quicker than she would the body of Christ because she does not like us. Push back. Usually the root of envy is on these people. They are envious of their target. They are obsessed over their target. Not they me. Are obsessed. <laughs> if all you do is think about that mm -mm. YouTuber and how you want to I don't let think about you. Know you don't have a bona fide uh, rebuke. It's not a bona fide correction. You should have taken this correction seven years ago. Okay? You were out of control. I have my very first video. I was motivated to do that very first video. I really wanted to do it right away. I should have done it seven years ago. But uh, I dealt with you head on, one-on-one. -on -one, and you showed your behind. You took your volume all the way up. And that's why why you hoarse and can't hardly talk now. I'm not feeling sorry for you. Because you are a screamer. And, and uh, you were a screamer back then. I'm surprised you haven't even lost your voice. All that screaming you done done. And uh, the way you shouted to the point where I had somebody to come over. And I had you on speakerphone. And they knew uh, how I used to praise you. And talk so highly about you. And they said. My goodness, who is that talking like that? I said, oh, you know, this is uh, motivating you to win. This is uh, Sister Sharon talking like that. And they were shocked. They were like, what? Screaming like that? I'm like, yeah, that's, that's her. That's her. I could not get a word in edgewise. So you got some issues, lady. You got some issues. And you better take that hacking as a warning sign. Because you 
love to point the finger and you just keep giving yourself a pass. You know that attitude is not right. And you know that if you don't deal with it, eventually it's going to deal with you. Correction, you're obsessed because you got rejected. You're obsessed because they don't want to deal with you. You're obsessed because they put you out of their ministry. You're obsessed because they disconnected from you. You're obsessed because you thought they were going to promote you. You're obsessed over them because they simply rejected you. Friend, these are the things that you got to bring to Jesus. Well, you know what? She's talking about herself. All Everything she just named actually happened to her. Yeah, everything. She thought she was going to run these churches. She thought she was going to get in there. And work this up with the men, you know, and, and, you know, the pastor, they, they probably, these, these pastors of these churches that she was involved with, you know, they probably saw her zeal and, and they gave her certain positions, you know, and then they saw, once they saw that she was trying to take over, no, they, they, they set her right on back down and she got mad. I promise you that's what happened. She got mad because she was rejected. Everything that she is accusing, uh, whoever she's accusing today, I don't know who she's accusing, but whoever she's accusing today, everything that she's saying actually happened to her. And so what did she do? She took it to her platform, created a channel, and ran it. She'd been ranting from day one. And the only reason why I signed up with her in the first place was because she was talking about tithing. And at that time, not a lot of people wanted to be on get on board with that because a lot of people said they were blessed by uh, being a tither. And just let me say this. If you tithe 10% of your money, you're not going to go to hell for that. If that's, if that's where you want to set your bar, if that's what's doable to you, you're not going to go to hell for tithing. 10% uh, of your money or given 10% of your income. And, and to me, biblically, biblically speaking, that is a good starting point. If you really want to hear the truth, that is a good starting point. That 10% margin, that is a good starting point for tithing. But she went and made a whole federal case out of it and went beyond it because not only did people stop tithing to their churches, what did they do? Turn around and send her the money. So that was the craftiness on her part, working and getting all the benefits. Yeah, she's got dirty hands. I'm sorry, her hands are not clean nowhere. Her hands are not clean nowhere. She did a lot of things, a lot of things that she has done in the name of ministry, she did it for profit and gain and to pull people into her channel, leave their churches and come listen to her and all the rest. And then that's when she really put the smack dab on everybody. She wanted total control. So uh, only the Lord knows what's going to happen. But I know as long as I got my channel, I'm going to call her out. I don't care. I don't care if I got one person watching and that's her. I do not care. See, you, you, you picked the right one with me because I know, uh, listen, rejection is my middle name. I don't have no problem with rejection because it's something that I learned as a child how to deal with it and keep on, keep it moving. So if you think uh, you're going to intimidate me, no, you picked the right one because this old girl over here do not care about rejection. And I don't care about intimidation, none of that, because I've already been taken there many, many a times. And I bounce right on back. I'm here for the people. I'm here for the ear that wants to listen to me preach the unadulterated word of God. 
And I'm telling the people, it don't take all of that. If you believe that that man named Jesus died for your sins, he died with your name in mind, and he rose, and you believe that story, because it is true, you got a place in heaven. You are seated in heavenly places. But these old uh, people like this person right here motivating you to win. No, she don't want you to have it that easy. No, she doesn't. She don't want you to have it that easy. She wants you to jump through hoops and loops and work till you can't even breathe. She wants you to work till you drop and you still won't know according to her. You won't know until the, he that endures to the end. You've heard her say it. He that endures to the end. And I'm telling the people, it don't take all that. Not under the dispensation of grace. Now, it's hard to unchannel your thinking. It's hard to get you into right division because you calling it Christianese because you haven't heard it before and it was there all along in the Bible. But because people don't read their Bibles and they take other people, life motivating you to win, taking their word for it instead of really doing the work and really rightly dividing God's word. Hey, it's been there ever since uh, Paul's ministry started. Right division has been there. Right division has been here from the very beginning. Like I did that video teaching about the difference between a testament and a, and a covenant. That was important information that needed to be taught to the body of Christ. Because that way, when they see testament, whether it's Old Testament, whether it's New Testament, they'll know when it began, when it started. I did that video. I got one like. All of that stuff, stuff that you know made sense, was telling the truth, but because you know how the algorithm works and you don't want my stuff to go anywhere, that's okay. That's on you. You're not going to go to hell for it. It's on you. But then you'll go over there and because you know why? I'm talking Christianese because I'm teaching the truth. And most people, most body of Christ believers, they have been taught the kingdom gospel they got themselves under the kingdom gospel. And when somebody comes and tries to bring them into right division, oh, that's Christianese. That doesn't, no, I wasn't taught that way. That's just Christianese right there. When I tell you that you are saved, not because of your works, not because of anything that you have done, but you are saved because Jesus paid it all. He paid it all. And we are saved according to the grace gospel and not according to the kingdom gospel. But that's Christianese to y'all. And I'm trying to make your plight easier. Taking burdens away from you biblically the, from the Bible. I'm trying to let you walk in your liberties. But no, now she, you know, she's over here pointing the finger at the brethren. And yet she's got this. Nobody went for her. She's got this in her archives. Nobody went for her. Nobody rebuked her. But now she's over here talking about a scandal. And look how she brought all this exposure, okay, replaying it over and over, knowing that people are going to watch it because of what they're doing, doing what they're doing in, in a strip club. <clears throat> she didn't have a problem with it, and nobody came for her. Nobody came for her. Uh, but I bet you she removed it after this video. I bet you she go in, that, in, in her archives, and I bet you she'll remove this video that you're looking at. I got this from her collection. I got this from her stash, okay? I didn't know nothing about this video. 
But she, yeah, yeah, everybody gave her a pass. She's got something that she's working on people. It's very crafty and it works. It works for her. But now she's now she felt a little pinch because somebody hacked her uh her channel and now she's feeling the sting. But uh if I were her, if I were you motivating you to win, I would pay attention to what happened, what just happened. Okay? I would pay attention to that. Because you you may need to go in your inventory and start doing the work and cleaning up your videos. Okay, I'm done. I think I've said enough. I, I didn't even get uh, even halfway through this because uh, I went in another direction and I'm glad I did. She needs to be rebuked. Okay, she jumps up here after her whole channel has been hacked and she has the nerve to jump up in here with all that pride accusing the brethren instead of taking accountability. This is the, this person is self-righteous and this person is not willing to work with the body of Christ on any level. She wants to do what she wants to do. She doesn't want anybody challenging her. Okay. And uh, so far, it looks like she's winning. But, I mean, I, I, I know about that. I mean, I know that uh, when people don't read their Bibles and then she comes in with all that roar, loud talking, screaming, it carries a lot of weight for intimidated people. But uh, she can scream to the top of her lungs like Juanita Bynum. Because <laughs> I already know the Lord... <laughs> As time goes on, if you don't check yourself, if you don't deal with your attitude, with your meanness, it's going to check you. Okay? And that's all I'm going to say about that. Everybody, have a wonderful, have an awesome day.